Good morning, guys. It's Lori from PassionatePennyFincher.com, and it is day 10. We have made it through 10 days of Croctober, and I am super excited. If you would like to join me, we've got 10 more days to go, so we're going to do this for all 20 days. We're doing it Monday through Friday all week long. All you got to do is type the word croc right there below, and I will send you out the recipes and that we are using. You are going to love these. It's going to make your life so easy. We are making a recipe today that is one of my husband's favorites, like he absolutely loves this one, but it's one that I would never have made. Um, way back many years ago, I hunted down a recipe to try to figure out how to make this one. He loves it. It's a little different than what I would make, but I think you're gonna love it too. And if you have, and it actually tastes pretty amazing. Um, it's just a different kind of recipe. So as you're hopping on, good morning, Hannah. Hi, Sherry, so glad to see you. Good morning, Angela. Guys, tell me good morning, tell me where you're at. Type in the word crock if you would like to get these recipes sent right out to you, which is kind of awesome. Um, and I I will also tell you that we are now, these are now working. You can also buy the Croctober cookbook if you'd like to have it forever and ever and ever, like I have it um, bound in the Passionate Penny Pincher store. You can look for that on Facebook or I will send a link out to you also to let you know you can buy it if you'd like to do that. Good morning, Mindy. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Another Jennifer. Thank you for sharing. Okay, that's the other thing. If you hit the share this button, hit the share this button, I will enter you to win a $10 Amazon gift card. And um, if you post a picture on the Passionate Penny Pincher wall of you with your crock pot, with your cookbook, with whatever, it's going to be awesome. I would, we'll give one person each day uh, a $10 Amazon gift card who posts there. So post your pictures. I like to see you guys too. Thank you, Sini. Glad to see you this morning. Hey, Lacey. Okay, guys, are we ready? Let's go. What we're going to do is we are making slow cooker Salisbury steak. Give me a heart if this is a recipe that you love. Give me a like if you're like, oh, Lori, I'm with you. This one kind of grosses me out. The worst part is we have to touch the meat. And y'all know I don't love touching the meat, but let's get to it. We'll do it super fast. Good morning in Wyoming, Beth. So glad to see you. Okay, so type in the word crock so that you can get the recipes. Um, let's see. So you're gonna take one to two pounds of ground beef. Now I am having the recipe because we only have three people home eating tonight and I know this is one that my family um, will probably not eat the leftovers of. They don't tend to like ground beef leftovers. There we go. So I've got, so I'm using a one pound of ground beef. I'm using Laura's lean, but you can do one to two pounds of ground beef. Then you're gonna also add in a half cup of Italian seasoned bread crumbs, crumbs one packet of onion soup mix. So I am just using mixes today. I put a bunch of recipes for um, seasonings where you don't have to use the sauces already made, the pre-bought stuff. But this one, I don't have a recipe for this one. I'm sure there is one out there. But I'm gonna use about a half because I'm only making half the recipe. So if you were using, if you're making it for everybody, you would use the full amount. So we're gonna add that in. And then we're gonna add in a quarter cup of milk, which I forgot to get out this morning. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch crock pots because I just realized I didn't think that this one had to be pre-cooked, but it does. So let's switch this up and get the right crock pot out. Hopefully I have two crock pots sitting on my counters, which is kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to plug this baby in, which I can start sizzling with. I did not think this one had to be pre-cooked, but I was wrong about that. I didn't look closely. It's been a while. It's been two years since I've made this recipe. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, we'll get that going. And while this is heating up, can y'all see this? Um, this is my crock pot that y'all know I love. It's my multi-cooker that does kind of all the work for me. It's gonna be a crazy day, I think, today. Okay, so we've mixed up. Can't believe I didn't look at that closer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix together this in. So we've added in an half, well, a packet of onion recipe of uh, onion soup mix, a half a cup of Italian seasoning, a quarter cup of milk. We're going to add this into the ground beef, which is what grosses me out. Let me get this all mixed in really well. And then we're going to form our patties. And hopefully, oh, it smells so good. I will say it smells really yummy. Oh my gosh, y'all, that smells amazing. So good. Okay, so the thing that I hate touching the most is touching this meat. So if y'all weren't watching, I would totally be doing this fully with my hands, but it just seems so gross to use my hands on Facebook Live, but I may have to. 
I think I have to. This is too hard to do. Okay, we're just gonna do it. Ugh, sorry guys. There's no other way to make a good hamburger patty without just touching the meat. So we're gonna touch the meat, blah, which is gonna gross us out. And we're gonna really, really, really be thankful. Our husbands need to thank us for these recipes because this is just not my favorite one, but he loves it. He grew up in a house where um, his mama was a great mom and she made this kind of stuff. And so I, I struggle because I would live on cereal and I would not make Salisbury steak, but we're okay. Okay, so this is starting to heat up just a little bit. It's still heating. Let me get that just a little hotter. While that's heating up, I'm gonna wash my hands real fast. And I should have read that step in between and I just didn't. I, I knew there it had to be preheated. We're gonna to mix together in a separate bowl, I'm gonna mix together a can of golden mushroom soup y'all this stuff is amazing it makes it's so much better than cream of mushroom do not use cream of mushroom and then we're also going to mix in a packet of au juice gravy mix so those are mixed together guys if you'll hit the share this button and type in the word crock if you know someone who would like to join us i would love that that would help us be seen by more folks which is always the struggle with facebook so if you can do that and if you are um new here i am so glad you're here if you would comment and let me know you're new i would love to say good morning to you guys i could use kitchen gloves linda that's a great idea i could totally do that okay is this heating up it's heating up a little bit more okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix up these patties and we're gonna put them in the skillet i'm trying not to touch anything I should have got those heated up just a wee bit more, but I didn't this morning. Okay. We're going to make four patties. And honestly, you could make, um, I normally make eight, but with only three of us home tonight, I knew they wouldn't get eaten and I hate to be wasteful. So I'd rather, honestly, guys, if you know your family isn't going to eat leftovers, make only enough because otherwise you were just wasting your money. And that just is painful to throw food away. So it's just now starting to brown. And if you didn't have this, you could totally just do it in a regular skillet. Okay, there we go. We got those starting to brown out now. We just need them to brown just a little bit. Like I said, it's been a while since I've made this one. Type in the word crock if you would like all the recipes and the cookbook we're using. Can y'all see everything there? Um, this is what it looks like when it's done. So you can see the after, yeah, so yummy. How many of your spouses would be like, oh my gosh, that it looks so yummy. Thank you so much for sharing, Joyce. Thank you, Tracy, for sharing. I appreciate you a ton. Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. Okay. You have leftovers, you'd bake ZDs. Oh, I love, now I would eat, I'll eat a lot of leftovers, but my family is not awesome about the leftover process. Okay, so we're gonna turn these over now. They are just starting to brown. I have to say, I am torn about what I think about this crock pot. I loved the Ninja, I gave it to a neighbor, and now I'm missing the Ninja. This one cooks not as hot, and so I'm, the other one, the Ninja's almost too hot, but this one takes a little while to heat up. Okay, so we're just going to brown those on all four sides. I want to show you what they look like. This one's done to do just about right. See how I've got it browned? Yeah, I know. Some of you are like, Laurie, if you're not a big, if this is not your thing, I get it. Um, now we're getting, we've already mixed together the one can of golden mushroom soup and a packet of Audrey's mix. I'm also going to add in one and a quarter cups of water. So while this is going, I'm going to add this all in. If you'd like to purchase the cookbook, there is a page, Vanessa. Um, you, can, you can print it for free. Just type in the word croc and I will send it right out to you. Type the word croc in right there. All caps, all lowercase is fine. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. 
So what you can do then, if, so you can do that, or if you look in the middle of the page, there's a place where it says shop on Facebook, and you can go there and you can order the one. We just found out we're getting a bunch of these, so I will also send you out a link with the option to buy it. You don't have to buy it. I don't make much money off of it, so it's not like I'm making tons of money, but if you'd like one, it really is a fantastic cookbook. So yeah, type in the word croc and we'll get you set up. Okay. Your, your cook is all about the leftovers. That's true. As the cook, we are more about the leftovers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna pour this over top. I'm gonna turn my heat down to low. And I am going to go ahead and pour this right over. And then we're gonna cook it on low for three to four hours, that's it. And then you have dinner done. Y'all, I know this is crazy, but this is one of those meals that um, if you have a man in your life, he will probably love this. Um, it is not, it's a different recipe for me, but my husband absolutely loves Salisbury steak, and this is the only way it happens at our house. If you have not gotten the email, if you have not gotten the email from us, go ahead and send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will send it out to you. Now, for you guys who are still here, would you guys like to hang out and watch me make a Dollar Tree craft? I have a Dollar Tree craft ready to go, but I'm a little bit hesitant because I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. So if you would like to do a Dollar Tree craft with me right now, type a heart. If you're done for the day, I totally get that and I wouldn't mind being done for the day. Give me a like. How many of you guys would love to do a very fast Dollar Tree craft? You got a couple minutes late. We are making, um, this is slow cooker Salisbury steak. So yummy, super good. Y'all wanna do the Dollar Tree craft. Okay, type in the word crock if you want the cookbook. I'm gonna put this over here. So dinner is done. I'm gonna add, I will have to make some mashed potatoes later in the day. Um, but let's go ahead. Guys, I had this all planned and I'm just gonna show you what I got and I'll show you the intention of the craft. And then if it doesn't work, um, if it doesn't work, then y'all are just gonna have to give me grace because you asked to see it, okay? So my friend um, Shree showed me this idea and all it is, I'll show you, all you need is a Dollar Tree wreath. So this is just a Dollar Tree little grapevine wreath. It's so simple. Y'all wanna see the craft? I'm gonna try it. I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work. And then the Dollar Tree has this awesome nautical rope. Super easy, all for a buck, right? So it's all a dollar. Y'all wanna see the craft? Um, Yes, on the, on the word crock, if you are trying to get the cookbook, type in the word crock and only say crock and hopefully you will get that. Amy says craft. Okay, so this was her idea. And I think I'm gonna like it, but I haven't quite, I started it off, okay? So I'm taking this wreath form. And I actually did this in, the, in Carline yesterday while I was waiting for my kiddo. Um, and I will say, type the word crock right there. Oh, I'm gonna be able to see that. And we'll send you out the cookbook too. There we go, how's that? Can you see that? It's easier for me to put that word out there than keep saying it. So we're just gonna keep wrapping it. And I did not even use any hot glue. I don't wanna use any hot glue. I wanted to make it easy. If you're like me, crafting is way more fun when you don't have to have a lot of supplies. So I'm gonna see if I can do this. What do you guys think? Craft Liz says, I'm gonna have to come up with a new thing that we do for crafting, aren't I? Okay. There's gotta be a better way to get it around here, one would think. Well, I know what it is if I hold it together. So this is literally $3 is what I've got spent here. Lots of folks want the cookbook. I'm so glad. If you have not joined me for Crocktober, you need to. It is a fantastic time to save some money by cooking at home. It's amazing how much money you will save just by cooking at home. Now, I'm gonna try to figure out how to get this spot because like I said, I do not, I do not want to have to deal with hot glue gun. I'm trying to make my life easy, okay. So we've got our next thing of nautical rope. 
Again, the nautical rope is found at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of in the floral department. So if you haven't checked out the Dollar Tree, oh my gosh, I went yesterday and they had some amazing Christmas projects. Okay. They had some of the cutest, oh my gosh, cutest Christmas ornaments. I love the Dollar Tree for Christmas ornaments. So now to start this again, I wanna keep my rope on the back side. Like I said, I, for anybody watching who's real crafty, I did not spend much time preparing. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna show you this today because I didn't have as much time to prepare. So this is not a fancy craft. This is just something I'm trying out because I wanted to test it. And y'all get to watch and see if it's worth it and it may not be worth it and that's okay because you don't know until you try. Okay, you do need to get it pretty tight because you don't want to see I don't wanna see the rope behind it. So I'm actually gonna, this one I may have to trim. It's better if you could use a wire, if you can find a wire form instead of the burla, the grapevine, it's gonna be even better. I just couldn't find that. So I'm working with what I have. And I am getting burlap all over my crock. but you can see how fast it goes. I mean, I probably sat in the car waiting for my daughter last night for like five minutes working ahead of this, so we should be there pretty quickly. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it next. Have you guys made anything fun at the Dollar Tree lately? I would hear, love to hear or found anything. What are your things to buy? Some of the other things I love to buy at the Dollar Tree, this is one of the really funny things to watch for at the Dollar Tree, is pregnancy kits. So if you or someone you know is hoping to get pregnant soon or thinks they might be and they wanna find out, they have those kits for a buck. I also love that they have the poster supply boards for kids' schools, the things that, um, those trifold boards for school, they have those and they're a dollar, which are normally like $9 anywhere else. What other things do y'all love to buy at the Dollar Tree? What did you end up doing for last night's hot, hot sliders? Oh, how many of you guys watched me last night when we made the hot, hot sliders? We ended up taking out all, we ended up putting it, somebody suggested putting it through a colander with water. We put it through a colander with water and then we rinsed it all off and um, added a bunch of ranch and it was fine. Rinsing it off with water in the colander was genius. So whoever gave us that tip, thank you so much. They have adorable, oh, they do have mason jar. I have not heard about the mason jar ornaments. They have those at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I haven't seen those yet. You know what I saw though last night? Oh my gosh, their ornaments, their stars are darling. Like darling, so cute. Um, they have these big like white stars that I've bought for several years. And they come in silver and gold, I believe too. They also have some of the cutest little Santa Claus ornaments. Um, the ornaments at the Dollar Tree, if you've got a big tree that you just need a bunch of ornaments to fill, they're fantastic. Oh, look at this. This took, so this is gonna cost me three bucks. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it in just a second. Hang on, you just need to make sure it's really tight so that you're covering up the grapevine underneath. Unless you like the grapevine look, but I kind of wanted it the more nautical look. This would be great if you have a nautical room or a nautical wedding and you want something cheap to go um, over chairs just to make them look a little extra special. Okay, so hang on with me, but y'all bear with me. I'm gonna try to get one more person here. There we go. One more loop. Actually, I'm gonna just keep looping it's not gonna hurt it to keep looping, I don't think. I may have to stop right there. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there and I'm gonna tie it off with the original one. And we'll put this in the back so nobody's gonna see the mess, right? And y'all, this literally, this is just one of those little fun things you can do. And then, depending on what season you want it for, you're gonna need to tie it tight, which is hard. Let's see if I can. Okay, so we've got this part done. I'm gonna have to figure out how to tie that. You know what, I may have to get a hot glue gun. I may need to get a hot glue gun to get that tight because otherwise you are gonna see that. Actually, though, what if 
we do this. So this ribbon was from the Dollar Tree, okay? This is not from the Dollar Tree, but you could find something like it. Um, or you could use just plain, this is my little bin of crafty goodness here. Use something like this would probably be my favorite, okay? So we're gonna take something like this and I will show you. What you're gonna do next is you can do two different things. Hang on. If you have a chair like this, okay? You see this chair? You could tie it into the middle of the chair. Hang on, I'm gonna go, y'all hang on, I'll be right back. on the front or the back. I am totally using tape because I don't have enough ribbon, just so you can see what it would look like. Okay, so there's one option. Can y'all, oh, can y'all see that? Let's see. There we go. So you could totally just do that and it just kind of fluffs up a regular chair. Or, hang on just a second, I'll show you one other option. Oh my gosh, those sliders smell so good. Okay, so here's one other option I will show you. These things, so I absolutely love, if you can find a good board like this. This one I believe is from, this one I believe was from Michaels, okay? So this is just a board from Michaels. I put this wreath on it all year long. Like I just keep the wreath, look, I have it duct taped, right? So all you're gonna do, I'm not even gonna take it off because I really like it and I'm probably gonna leave it, is then do the same thing with this. And I am a sucker, oh my gosh, look how cute that is. What is it? Y'all look at that. There we go. So when you see stuff like that, look, that's just a Dollar Tree wreath. Like that's all I did was a Dollar Tree. So all that was was the wire form. I mean, how easy was that, guys? Seriously, this board is probably a little bit too big for that. But what do you guys think? Do you love it? You think you would do it on the back of the chair so when people sign? Yes, you could do it on the back of the chair would be better for sure. To definitely do it on the back of the chair. Isn't that crazy though that just having, so if you struggle with places to put cute little wreaths like this, there is something about having this type of little simple board and you can find them at, um, this one is from Michaels. I've seen them on Amazon. Just a simple board and you might have a new one. How easy is that? And it was totally just a Dollar Tree thing. I mean, really. Sometimes I think we think things have to be so hard, but that was super simple. It took us, what, how long did we spend? 10 minutes? Um, yeah, and no hot glue. No hot glue, just a pair of scissors. So all you need is a pair of scissors, some root, other, yeah. A pair of scissors, great fine wreath. And you could also use, I had a bigger wreath, but I don't know where it ended up at. So anyways, and then if you want to make it a little more Christmassy, because you know, Christmas is coming. Do you love it? Thank you for saying you love it. Brandy, you don't love it, that's okay. I understand, it's not everybody's style, that's for sure. But it was $2, I mean, you can't put that back. You put them hanging from a picture frame, yes, I love having them hanging from a picture frame. Um, and then what you can do, you will definitely rewatch this so you can see how you made this. It was so simple, look guys. And then you can add, can y'all see that? Let me move this up here so you can see it just a little closer. Of course, I have so many wreaths now hanging from here. Do you see how that just made it totally Christmassy? Yeah, you could do this. You could easily do this, Lisa. Anybody can do this. You could do a ribbon bow. Oh yeah, you could absolutely do a ribbon bow. Now, I'm not a great bow maker, but even I could do a simple bow make bow for this. I mean, so simple, so easy. Guys, don't forget, guys, if you will type in the word crock right there below, we will enter, um, you will get our free crock pot cookbook and you'll keep up with all the deals we talk about and all the DIY stuff um, that I do here on Passionate Penny Pincher. I am not a fancy bow girl, but just so you can see really quickly, you could totally add a bow to that too. I mean, really, y'all, that would not take much work at all. I'm not gonna do it right now because 
it's been one of those mornings <laughs> where I'm feeling a little bit like I can't get it all together, but I think that's super fun and super easy. But I think having the board or a picture or a mirror, these wreaths are great for putting, if you have a mirror right there, a super easy way to get it done. You could also hang it out. Yes, the mirror, I love that. You love it with the Christmas ribbon, Kim? So do I. It makes me ready for Christmas. And this was from the Dollar Tree. So when you go to the Dollar Tree today, what you need to get is get the wreath form, get some rope. You can get a little bit of this. This is over by the Christmas. So this will be in their floral supplies. This will be over by the ribbon supplies. Totally easy, super simple. You need to make decorations for your house. This would be an easy one, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys dinner. We'll go back to dinner now that we're there. You would glue an ornament of some type. Yes, you could totally or or add an ornament of some type too. So I'm gonna show you for anybody who hopped it, you guys like it with the bow. For anyone who hopped on late, I will show you what's for dinner. Don't forget, type the word in crock and I will send you out our Crocktober cookbook, totally free. Join me, Monday we'll be doing a whole nother week of things. I will also, when you sign up, you'll also get added to my email list so I'll be able to keep you up to date with all the deals. We are working on Black Friday deals. We're gonna save you a ton of money and yeah, so simple. You guys like the bow, y'all love it with the bow. Okay, so here's the stuff in the dinner. There we go. So dinner's done. We did a little Dollar Tree craft. We're good to go. You guys have an amazing day, and I will see you Monday morning when we are making the best. Y'all are going to love this one. You're going to be so happy Monday. Your family is going to thank the Passionate Penny Pincher. Let me just tell you. My family is going to thank the Passionate Penny Pincher because Monday is this one right there. Slow cooker chicken and dumplings. That's coming Monday morning. So make sure to type the word in crock and you can get all those recipes. And no Tasha, no hot sauce today. You guys have an amazing day and I will see you Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.